How's it going? Today we're going to be going over some for loops. Now for loops are used to iterate or go through each element or thing in a sequence and I'll show you all what that means as we go through here. So first of all let's prompt the user to enter their name and store it into the variable we named name. <laughs> Very original. And then we're going to print out this right here just so the user kind of knows what's about to happen or knows what's going on and now let's actually get into the for loop so you start out for loops with the for statement here or the for operator and here's what we named the variable that we're going to be using to iterate through name and here's the in operator which means we're going to be iterating in this variable name and then we want to print every letter so you just want this and this to be the same it doesn't have to be named letter I just named it letter so that we'd know what's going on and now let's go ahead and end our program like we always do and then save and run it with F5 alright so enter your name John Hughes your name letter by letter is John Hughes. Let's move this over a little bit as so you can see. Alright. So, press egg, enter to exit. And now I want to show y'all what I was talking about on, uh, you don't have to, well, what's going on here? I've got another, how many shells do I have open? Alright, close that. I want to show y'all. We can change this like this. X, X, save, enter, John Hughes, and as you can see it does the exact same thing. It prints out the letter and or the space and then writes the next one on a new line so you can iterate through every one. And the for loop ends whenever it gets through the sequence. So let's go back here because I want to show you all a different thing we can do here. And that's going to be uh, iterating with, I mean, using for loops with range. So for i in range 10, print i and all right, let's see, this should work here. Alright, so there it iterates through every number 1 through 9 because we put for i and 10. And as you can remember, the computer starts counting at 1. So we can also do this to count by fives or count by a number. And you do it like this you start with this one, end with this one, and count by this. So let's run it and save it. And here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, etc., etc. Enter. And now, lastly, you can also make it count backwards. So let's see 10, 0, negative 1. And there you go. It counted. Get where y'all can see it here counted 10 to 1 and counted backwards. So that's just a little bit on for loops. Let's see, next time probably be going over the len function and a little bit more over the n operator. So I hope you guys will watch that one. Thank you for watching this one and I'll see you next time.